You guys, I did it. I posted short videos for 30 days to compare all three platforms, see what the difference was, what impact it brought on my content, and I'm here to share it with you so you can skip that learning part and jump straight ahead and get the results. Let's dive in. First things first, the results. So let's go ahead and start with YouTube. If you go on my channel and we look at the first time where I started posting these short videos consistently, we're basically going down one month ago. As you can see, some had big peaks and others were just very, very stabilized. 36 views, 16 views. Then we go down to 4.6 thousand views. So it's obviously very, very fluctuating, but the inside of this looks a little like this. As we can see right here in the last 90 days, my channel was pretty, pretty stable. And then we have this big spike followed by a couple of others. And right here, we can see that most of this is coming from these short videos that obviously my channel wasn't used to ever having. So that does bring in spikes. At the bottom, we can also see not only that, but in this time period, the videos that are getting the most views, yes, the most popular ones, but it's also followed by five, six, and seven positions all being short videos. That's something huge that wasn't happening before on my channel. The cool part is, of course, those huge spikes, but it's not only about having those big spikes, but actually being able to maintain this wave and overall getting that line to go higher and higher by the new stuff that I'm implementing. So of course, whenever you test something new and it works out, you're gonna see that spike. But the real secret is actually being able to maintain that spike and bring that whole wave higher and higher and higher, which I'm currently on. These are the 30 days that I first, first, first started posting these short videos. So as I continue to do it, I'm obviously gonna be sharing how that goes. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, but it's also about adding on and connecting people from my short videos to these long videos like this one that I'm doing right now, which is exactly what I'm gonna talk about after we compare TikTok and Instagram results as well. So right here on Instagram, we can obviously see the last 30 days have brought in green numbers, which means we're doing good. Overall in accounts reach, we had a spike of a 543%. I accounts engaged 1,702% and then total followers an increase of 5%. So that is obviously very, very good metrics. I was kind of posting sporadically reels on Instagram, but it wasn't with the consistency that I've been having right now. And I have found that the recent reels that I've been posting have actually completely hit different numbers on Instagram that I hadn't reached before because honestly, my account on Instagram is pretty small. So. These are things that you out there with any number of followers or subscribers on YouTube can be implementing. This is only after 30 days of posting consistent. And of course, that brings us to the fan favorite TikTok, which I was honestly very, very surprised about, but not in the way that you would think. So overall on TikTok, we do still see an increase. Video views, 38%, profile views, 150%, likes, 206%, comments, shares, 37%. So it's not bad. My profile on TikTok is obviously brand, brand, brand new. This is the first time that I'm posting consistently. So this is very exciting to compare it with a new account. Now, what I'm noticing right now that is actually pretty surprising is that if we do compare TikTok to Instagram, which are the two main rivals, from my results, it's not really the main things that we're hearing out there. Usually when people compare these two platforms, the go-to is that TikTok will give you this huge, huge, huge reach and that Instagram is basically went, went, went dying. And from just comparing these two, I just can't agree with that at the moment. I'm not sure if it's because I've been more active on Instagram than TikTok. That could be a reason, but we will continue comparing these down the line because if I stay active on both of them, then that really is no longer a factor when we're comparing these two. Overall, the platforms where I have seen the 
biggest impact are YouTube and Instagram. Obviously YouTube, it's a bit harder to only compare shorts and what that has brought us just because weekly I do put out long videos like this one right here, which I'm sure you watch week in and week out if you're already a subscriber. But that huge peak that it did bring with shorts is obviously something that I want to transfer over to the long form videos as well. And that's where this whole analysis comes in. You guys know that I've already mentioned that short videos are a great way to grab those eyes, but you do have to have a strategy to be able to maintain the eyes. And that's exactly what we discussed in that content trend video, which you've probably already watched, but in case you haven't, it talks about exactly the strategy in using short videos because if you're only using short videos, well, you're only grabbing these views. And if we are using content for a bigger purpose, which is probably what you behind the screen are doing, maybe to fuel your business, to fuel your personal brand, your projects, well, it's not just about the metrics, the views and the subscribers or followers. It's actually about the community that we are building and the community that is learning from us, being a part of whatever we are creating. So overall, things that I've learned and something that I would recommend you to totally do is to create a bridge and be able to connect the people from the short videos all the way to something long that is going to build that trust between yourself as the creator and the audience on the other side of the screen, whether that's long form videos like this one that you're watching or podcasting or your community that you're creating. So you guys have work to do. If you haven't put yourself up to this 30 day short challenge, get ready because now it's your turn. I wanna know exactly how it goes for you. And I have been getting a couple questions on how my process has worked with the short videos, how I'm actually doing the editing and the titles for all of that. So comment an orange heart down below if you do wanna know. And as always, I'll see you right back here on this same channel next week for even more content tips and check out the short quickies if you want quick tips under a minute. See you next time.